All right, here we go into hour number two. We're on our way into hour number two on Cavuto Coast to Coast, and we're in, finally, rally mode of the markets up more than 200 points in the Dow Jones Industrial Average after the worst Thanksgiving week for stocks since 2011. Brexit deal optimism, you got some Italy optimism, but more than anything else here in the United States, you have some shopping optimism. It is that time of year. After all, it's Cyber Monday, and if the analysts are right, it might be the best one ever we've ever had in terms of shopping online. Ryan Payne joins us, so does Heather Zuma. Maraga, as we start this off, guys, with a, uh, you know, some overdue optimistic folks, Heather, coming into work on a Monday. We've been waiting for this little bounce in stocks. Is that all it is? Yeah, it might be a little bit more than that. Cyber Monday may be one of the biggest ever. Yeah. Adobe Analytics saying that uh, $7.8 billion being spent today. So not sure how productive people are being <laughs> at work right now. If they're all shopping online or shopping on their phones, 75 million people are shopping. So that is helping the markets out. But I think it's kind of a, a, a bear market bounce, if you want to call it that, yeah. um, on the backs of a very light volume week last week heading into the holidays. That's fine. I guess we just kind of needed that to stabilize things uh, Ryan for at least a little while, but these numbers are impressive. I mean, you look at first I thought, well, the store traffic is down, but that's been the trend for years. And then when I saw the online numbers came in, so that's why everybody's sitting around as they should be and doing the shopping on their phones. So what does that tell you about the economy? Um, I think it just reinforces that the consumer is in really good shape right now, right? I mean, yep. you have one of our lowest unemployment rates in literally half a century. Um, we saw wages go up uh, year over year over 3%, which is the best since you know, pre-recession. So I think it's just reaffirming this is a very strong economy and the consumer is in great shape. And that bodes well for the market long term as well. So what do you do, Ryan, with stocks? I mean, you go, have you been um, uh, shopping around there as well? And you're finding it, I would think if, you, if you're optimistic about the long term or even the medium term, you, you know, talk about bargains. You got them in the stock market, right or wrong? Yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, you know, I go to Warren Buffett and be uh, greedy when others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy. This is the seventh correction we've had in this bull market, and every single one of them has been bought, and the market has gone a lot higher. So this is really the kind of opportunity you need to deploy some cash if you have it on the sidelines. The question, I guess, Heather, is how do you tell the difference between just a quote-unquote quote unquote, healthy correction in stocks and the beginning of some sort of a bigger downturn in the in the economy, which is a fear people have out there when they look at other parts of, of the world and even consider what's coming in this part of the world, especially when it comes to trade. How do you distinguish between the two, Heather? Well, it is a very important week. I think you can distinguish between the two based on uh, the, the what we get from two events this week. The Fed uh -huh. speaking on Wednesday, Fed minutes on Thursday. Yep. And on Friday, the G20 summit gets some clarity on, on Chinese uh, trade, more specifically our negotiations with China, President Xi and how those are going, I think markets could rally on that. And if the Fed takes a pause here in December, and maybe Fed Chair Powell softens his tone a little bit yes. from, from their last meeting. That's probably more likely, right, Heather, than the actual pause. Or do you think they might not raise rates in December? Well, I think right now the path higher, the path for interest rates is higher. October 3rd meeting, uh, Fed Chair Powell noted, look, normalization is, is, on, is on the way, meaning we're going to raise interest rates because of two things. Inflation is on the rise. It's subdued, but unemployment is fulfilled. But because the stock market has cor corrected and we're down about 10 percent from the highs, that he may take that into account and take a pause here in December uh, and then continue raising at a quarter basis point at a time next year. It would be interesting if he did that. I'm, sure, I'm assuming, Ryan, that would be great news for uh, for stocks. But more to the point, it's just the pace. So how quickly do interest rates go up? Because we all know they're going higher. And if the economy is strong, I guess, you know, you could say that's a good thing, which gets us to the second issue Heather brought up, and that's trade. And that has been hanging over this this market. I I don't know what people are expecting at the end of this week, into the weekend, beginning of next week, but it seems like any little hint that we're moving in the right direction would be, would be about enough for now. Yeah, I mean, again, this is a bull market. And remember, in a bull market, the surprises are in the positive. So any inkling of good news, I agree with you, Connor, is going to be very, very positive. Um, and especially, you know, with the interest rates, if they only, maybe if they pull back and are more dovish on interest rates, they'll probably hike in December. But next year, I think if you see maybe two hikes as opposed to three, anything right. like that is going to be extremely positive. And this is why you have this confluence of markets down. You have a lot of things that can go right here. Um, you know, these are the kind of opportunities you got to grasp while they're still here. That's it. I mean, um, you still get that sense, though, at least I do, Heather, that the prevailing sentiment for markets is lower, that people think that we haven't quite gotten through 
of this period. Yeah. I mean, am I right to assume that? I mean, that just seems to be yeah, I, well, everybody's I, doubtful of this little rally we're getting on a Monday. Yeah, I, I think uh, through the end of the year, you'll see volatility increase. I mean, we could be down again, you know, 200 points tomorrow. We're up 200 on the Dow right now. So I, I do think markets will continue to be very volatile. Uh, we have gone up a lot because of tax cuts, I think, this year. Or uh, companies, when you when you listen to their earnings, that has helped their bottom line, the corporate yeah. tax cuts that they've gotten. Maybe some of that rolls off. And and, and now we're, we're waiting on what? What is the next yeah, big what's catalyst, next? I think There's you're no asking? More to coming. take us higher. It's got to yes. be it's got to be trade. Cyber Monday. Well, Cyber Monday. No, I guess, but they, even that to me is kind of backward yeah. looking, you know. It's got to be trade Heather, I think, but maybe we'll yeah. I guess we'll see. Trade, yes. Trade is a big part of that and so hopefully at the G20 meeting we get some clarity over trade between the US and China and come to a conclusion on uh, theft of intellectual property and decreasing our trade deficit with China. That's what President Trump wants. All right, coming up at 106 in the afternoon Cyber Monday. Have either one of you bought anything? yet online <laughs> ah um, i have but not oh, yeah? today i didn't oh, want to really? do it right now during the show but do i will no, i don't mean like Walmart, during this Macy's interview Best heather Buys. i just mean in general yeah. <laughs> i did two <laughs> things this morning so i'm already really? there so you're I'm, in so both of you are that's a good sign it's a good economic <laughs> sign <laughs> they're big purchases ryan so they were small purchases mm -hmm. but i think the bigger ones are coming this weekend as i sit down yeah. and make my christmas list probably so. like if you're if you're a good american you are probably shopping for yourself that's what we see we find <laughs> that's so right. many yeah. people are doing that they're like oh let me see what i can get for my relatives and they're like you know what i the like best, that shirt the best deals mm. are toys meaning uh legos in particular since toys r us has gone out of business and that's i hear right. hd uh tv screens that's where you can get the best buys right now legos the yeah, cavuto loves legos so if you yes. want to get him something for that's christmas. what he's doing yes that's, what he <laughs> that's right that's why he's always playing with his legos all right thank you i appreciate you both both coming Thank on, you. Uh, Thanks, Heather and Ryan. Now.